Howdy folks and welcome back to World of Tanks with the Mighty Jingles and following hot on the heels of yesterday's video where Circonflexes in the Type 64 Premium Tier 6 Light Tank gave us a masterclass in fast aggressive scouting on Malinovka not to mention a fair old amount of teamwork with the surviving STA2 Medium Tank on his team and today Circonflexes is showing us how to play the Type 64 as a Tier 6 Premium Heavy Tank Yes, that's right. Um, <laughs> I know, but if it's stupid and it works, <laughs> it ain't stupid. Um, what are you talking about, Jingles? The Type 64 is a light tank. Yes, it is, but let's not forget, this is Circumflexes. This is the guy that took a Waffentrager E100 out into a Corellia match, loaded nothing but high explosive, and still finished the match top on damage and top on kills. This is the guy who drives the Cromwell Tier 6 British medium tank with a 3.5 inch howitzer and gets top guns. And the man who is on record as achieving scout medal in a KV-5. <laughs> Anything is possible when circumflexes is at the controls of any given tank. We all hate him for it, of course, because he just makes it look so effortless. I mean, the kind of results that we dream of having Circumflexes achieves three or four times a night when he's live streaming. Link to his live stream down below in the video description. Hang on. Circumflexes, what are you doing? You're camping bush. <laughs> I mean, I know that's what you're supposed to do with a scout, but... Oh, this is most unexpected, Circumflexes. Very disappointing. This is how you're supposed to play the Type 64 on this side of the map on highway. This isn't what we came here to see. Sort it out, Circon. Well, initially at least, he is going to play sensibly. He's waiting to see if any enemy scouts try to rush the middle of the map. And, oh, there we go, MT-25. I'm not sure if Circon spotted him or not. I guess we'll find out if he gets any spot and damage if anybody else hits this guy. Somebody's just missed him. Somebody else has just missed him. Somebody else has just missed him, Sircon's missed him, and Sircon's the first one to score a hit. That guy's avoided another shot, Sircon hits him again. He's now in the river, and everybody else is missing this guy. Sircon, however, is paying attention to the minimap and taking an exploratory shot down there. I don't know if you just saw, but there was an RU-251 spotted right over in the other corner of the map, and well, obviously well outside of view range, but... Sircon was using the aiming indicator on the minimap to attempt to get a shot at him. The MT-25 has finally been taken out. And there's not an awful lot else to see in this bush, and, well, Sircon got a bit bored, so he decided, screw it. Let's go and fight the enemy tier 9 heavies in the town. <laughs> no, really, that's what he's going to do. Hmm... M103, VK4502B. Should I? Shouldn't I? Mm, mm, maybe. Yeah, screw it, why not? Live fast, die young, leave a good looking corpse, let's do this thing. And off he goes. Seriously, he's going to do it. What's this? There's the M103. Oh, hello! <laughs> M103's like, what the hell is that noise? Um, <laughs> And now the VK. And there's one. And there's two. Oh, screw it, there's three. Oh, and one of three's checking out your fine Dutch ass Zircon, watch out. And again, right, time to move. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. And he's managed to get away with it. Unbelievable. But he's not done yet. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Now he's got a thirst for it now. He's, he's hungry for some more heavy tank action. The M103 is down, but the VK is still rocking it in there, and there's plenty more heavy tanks moving into that section of the town as well. T10s, IS3s, IS6s, the VK is still alive. There's a T29 in there, but oh, hold on a second. Steyr Waffentrager, that was available for one day only during the Christmas Advent Calendar event. He scores one hit, and somebody else takes him out. Right, how about those heavies? Who's first? Who wants them? Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. And think it's going to be the T29 first. Okay, there's one. T29's all like, what the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> Oi, you, stop that. 
Pack that in, you cheeky little bugger. I know your mum. No, he hasn't learned his lesson there. <laughs> T29 down, who's next? Oh, hello. Lots and lots of... Oh, there's the VK. He's going to have to... Oh, no, somebody else has taken the VK out. He was going to... Uh, going for the kill steal there, aiming right? for the commander's hatch with the APCR loaded. Right, so, who's who's still to kill? IS-6, IS-3, T-10. Let's get the IS-3. We're going to use this... Uh, oh, he's not even looking this way. <laughs> so, can he get the kill? Can he get it? No, no, it looks like the... Oh, dirty kill stealing French bastard. Right, who's next? <laughs> Who wants some of this? Let's go for the T10. He's just fired. He's going for the tracking shots, obviously. With the uh, AMX AC48 pumping the shots into his side, this guy decides, screw it, I need to shoot this French tank destroyer. And that is all the invitation Zircon needs. Parks in behind the wreck of the M103. And, well, basically just sits here with his finger on the mouse button. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Type 64 heavy tank in action. <laughs> this T10 doesn't know whether to shit or go blind. And just that's just embarrassing. I, I, I actually feel sorry for them. There's only three enemy tanks left. This is going to be a fairly quick replay. <laughs> IS-6 next. Come on, then. Oh, hang on. There's a T-30 over there. And the IS-6 has got a lot of health. Um, I think it's time to be a light tank again. Run away! <laughs> They've killed the AMX-48. Yeah, I think discretion is definitely going to be the better part of Valor here. You've got the speed. You've got the maneuverability. You've got the camo rating. Um, I think he's just decided to use it. Everybody else, however, is closing in on these two. There's just these two and the enemy artillery left. And, oh, the Jagdtiger has taken the T-30 out. So there's just the IS-6 alone in the town. And, uh, well, without the backup from the T-30, Sircon takes his brave pills, straps on his man pants, and goes after the IS-6. IS-6 obviously facing the other way, but has he seen Sircon coming? Oh, he knows he's there now. And there's one, and another one pulls back. IS-6 looking for the shot, keeping him tracked. Come on, Patton, shoot him. Oh, he's pulled back, and oh, bugger. And of course, he's running the premium food consumables, so that means no fire extinguisher, <laughs> and he burns to death. Taken out by the IS-6. If it's any consolation... If you're going to get taken out by somebody on the enemy team, at least he got taken out by the guy on the enemy team who did the most damage. The IS-6 was actually the top scoring tank on the enemy team. That IS-6, in fact, is the only player of all 30 players in that match on both teams who scored more damage than Circumflex has managed to score in this game. Don't forget he's in a Tier 6 light tank, and that was a Tier 9 battle, and he was basically fighting in the city with the heavy tanks, throughout the vast majority of that game. So, well, unsurprisingly, there's an ace tanker and a confederate badge. He managed to score hits on eight enemy tanks. Just the one kill. Oh, he did kill the IS-3. My mistake. I thought the AMX-48 managed to secure the kill on that one. Oh, well, never mind. It wouldn't be the first time I got something wrong in a video, would it? Damage done. Top of his team. Second only to the IS-6 on the enemy team. Look at that. Over 3,000 damage. Just beaten by the IS-6 with 3,700. And that's the guy who killed him. So it's no shame to get taken out by the top damage scoring player in the match. And don't forget, this is a tier 6 light tank. Doing over 3,000 damage in a tier 9 street battle. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> and he was, it's not like he was farming easy kills on the tier 7s and 8s. He was fighting the tier 9s, the M103 and the VK. Unbelievable. And he actually managed to get some spotting damage in as well. He didn't just score top of the team on damage done. He also did over 2,000 spotting damage. <laughs> so that is Circumflexes, the crazy Dutch bastard, um, modelling the Type 64 Tier 6 Premium Heavy Tank in a Tier 9 street fight on the highway map. And if you want to see more of that kind of crazy shit, then link down below to Circon's Twitch livestream. This sort of thing, by the way, is not an unusual occurrence when you're watching Circonflex's play. This is just the kind of stuff that he does.
And that's it for today. In fact, that's it for this week. I'll be back tomorrow with Casual Saturday, and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Take care, and I'll catch you next time.